A major dolphin tagging milestone was recently surpassed and we got to be on the water to document the special moment. Fishing out of Miami, Florida with Captains Jimbo and Rick Thomas aboard Thomas Flyer Fishing Charters in mid-July, we documented their effort to tag and release their 3,000th dolphin fish for the Dolphin Fish Research Program after 17 years of tagging participation. During 402 of their charter outings since 2005, the Thomas brothers tagged at least one dolphin fish with their clients and averaged seven tag per outing to amass 3,000 tag deployments. We asked Captain Jimbo Thomas about his participation and this is what he said. And it's not a big deal to tag them. If we gotta let them go, we're mostly releasing and tagging and releasing the smaller fish. And if they're keepers, we're keeping them. And some days we have enough in the fish box. So we're tagging the larger ones as well. And my clients aboard the Thomas Flyer, they really seem to enjoy it because they know they're helping do their part for conservation. And if we gotta let them go, it's not a big deal to put a tag in them and turn them loose. Hopefully they get recovered. We get some great data out of them. Great data indeed. In fact, due to Thomas Flyer's tagging activity, 34 of their fish have been recovered around the Atlantic Ocean as well as in the Caribbean Sea. Their tagging efforts have also revealed that some dolphin released off South Florida will return to off Florida and the Carolinas in 5 to 12 months as gaffer-sized fish. This important finding supports having a regulation that requires fish under 20 inches to be returned to the water. This suggests that East Coast anglers could realize benefits from this conservation measure, the opportunity of having more and larger fish to catch. We are honored to have Captains Jimbo and Rick Thomas participate in our tagging program. And if you're interested in making an impact on your dolphin fishery, request a kit at dolphintagging.com tags.